Justin. Big up, Justin. Uh, where's Justin Squires, man? One of my old subscribers, my, one of my old viewers. Yeah, where are you, blood? Anyway, it's a new Justin. It's a, you get me, a 23 plate Justin. He said, my girl wanted to go to the club for the first time with her friend. Is that good? Don't let these guys that make all this red pill content and whatever, whatever content on YouTube and that make you think that you're an idiot for letting your girl go to the club one time. Yeah. Or that like, fam, you have to ask yourself this question. Yeah. Are you really that guy? Like, is your girl really that loyal? Like, if she can't be let out of your sight for two seconds or else she's going to run off with the next man. Don't get it twisted. Your girl should not be at the clubs every fucking weekend and that. But if once in a while your girl wants to go out with her chicks and that, fam, I ain't going to have no problem if my girl wants to go out with her chicks once in a while. I don't give a shit. If all it takes is for my girl to be out of my sight and not around me for her to go and run off with her next man, what, what the fuck? What sort of relationship we got? My girl... Listen, if my girl wants to go on a girl's holiday, go ahead. I don't care. Don't get it. Just, you ain't going every fucking weekend. Yeah? You ain't going. Yeah, every, every, who's going to fucking cook my food? Yeah? But what I'm saying is my girl should be let, be able to be let out of my sight and nothing's going to happen. Yeah? I, I ain't paranoid like that. I'm like, you know, if you want to go run off with the next man, go ahead. But I don't give a fuck. Next. Next. Nah, fam. See, someone's in the comments says, ah, oh, no, no girl's holiday, man. Listen. If your girl wants to go, what is the difference here yeah, between your girl going to, let's say, for example, yeah, so my girl lives at my yard. She's gone to a different part of England. Yeah? What's the difference between her going to a different part of England and going to maybe IB for whatever? She's not around me. She's going to be away for a week and that. But I'm not paranoid. You think, man, sit here thinking, oh, what's she doing with this person or whatever, isn't it? But all I'm thinking about is who's going to cook my food? Yeah? My girl was away for a week. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, right, I just need food, water, shelter, and don't die. <laughs> Until my girl comes back and cooks herself fucking food. But I ain't sitting there shivering or waking up at two in the morning thinking, I wonder who she's with. Or, Come on, man. Obviously, more can happen in Ibiza because obviously it's where single people go. I get it. But at the same time, man's not going to be, nah, man. If my girl wants to go out with her girls and then she can go out with her girls. Man. Yeah, I got, see, that's the thing. If you, if you are fearful that your woman is going to leave you and cheat on you, then she fucking will. It's when you don't give a shit whether or not she leaves you or cheats on you. Well, not cheat, but leaves you and goes and run off with someone else. And that, that's when she doesn't. Let me repeat that. The time when your girl will leave you is when you're afraid that she's going to leave you and cheat on you. And I'm telling you, if you truly internalize not giving a fuck whether your girl stays or goes, that's when the girl fuck it, will fucking stay with you. I promise you, blood. I promise you. I promise you. Look, look back on, if you're a man of age, yeah, if you're 18, then no. But if you're a man of age, 25, 30, whatever, and you've had a few girls around you, even if you weren't in a serious relationship, but you was like, you were dating, but like, you was her main guy and she was your main girl, but you weren't official, official on that. But you kind of knew she weren't really seeing anyone and you weren't really seeing anyone, but you weren't officially boyfriend and girlfriend. I guarantee you, yeah, there was some stage of the relationship and that where you didn't even really give a fuck about the girl. And that's when she was on you the most. And then when you did care about the girl, when you was paranoid, when that phone was going zzz, 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 and that phone was face down and that, that's when that chick fucking left your ass, blood. Yeah? At certain times, Gal will do that on purpose, you know. They will purposely, yeah. Be around you, yeah. Put the phone face down, and yeah, zzz, zzz, zzz. you think it's a fucking bumblebee locked in that phone or something, it buzzing away, and that. Um, yeah, man, they'll do that to fuck with your head, blood. So, yeah, if my girl wanted to go like one holiday or whatever, go ahead, go ahead. If all it takes is for her to be in a different country to forget about me, then what the fuck did you even have in the first place? The certain man. That they will be, they'll if they could, they'll be moving like their man back in the day when their man there was going to war. What allegedly, what the men used to do, this is back in the day, before TikTok and mobile phones. I'm talking about like the 1500s or whatever. It, it, it was like a basically a pair of boxer shorts, yeah, that women would wear and it had a padlock on it. So basically, no man can enter them and penetrate them. Yeah? I remember we learned about this in history. So I said to the history teacher, How the fuck did the women piss and shit? He said, yeah, yeah, they had to do their business inside this thing. 
certain man, if they could have that on their girl, they would have. Oh, I don't need that bullshit. 